Long-time friend and rival to Ash Ketchum, Gary Oak decided to quit being a Pokemon trainer and instead followed the path of his grandfather, Professor Oak, and became a Pokemon researcher. So in today's video, I want to discuss what exactly would have happened if he continued his journey as a trainer after Johto. So let's get into the video and be sure to like and subscribe for more Pokemon anime content. So as we all know, at the end of Johto, after losing to Ash in the top 16, Gary decides to call it a day, stop battling and become a Pokemon researcher, just like his grandfather, Professor Oak. But in this case, we're talking about if this didn't happen. So Gary, after losing to Ash, is down, but he takes his defeat humbly and gives Ash the respect he deserves. Before departing the league, he tells Ash that he has a lot more to learn about Pokemon, which still depicts his researcher ways, but he says he'll come back stronger the next time Ash won't win. So Gary decides to continue on, determined as ever, to become a strong trainer. Gary heads away from the Silver Conference alongside Harrison, like we see in the original. This time, however, we see Gary become quite close with Harrison, study his Blaziken, and learn all about the Hoenn region. Harrison's already told Ash about Hoenn, so Gary assumes Ash is gonna head to Hoenn. Inspired by the chance of beating Ash, Gary this time follows Ash to Hoenn. Well, well, well. How the turntables... So Gary in Hoenn would be very similar to Gary in Johto. He's a lot more humble than he was at the start. Him and Ash are pretty close friends at this point. He bumps into them way more than he did in Kanto and Johto. And overall, he's just a way more important character in the series. Hoenn plays out pretty much the same for Ash. However, this time, Gary earns all eight Hoenn badges alongside his Hoenn starter, Swampert. I thought it would be cool to see Gary with a Swampert, as I feel out of the three Hoenn starters, Swampert has the least representation. Of course, Ash and Tyson both have a Sceptile, May has a Blaziken, and then Gary has Swampert. Morrison has Swampert, but it was never really that important for him. Hoenn really lacked rivals, so I think if Gary was to be around and pushing Ash even more in this series, then this series would benefit a lot. As the journey goes on, Gary will eventually battle Ash again just before Ash takes on one. Gary will win this battle, showing just how much stronger he's gotten with his Swampert taking down Ash's Grovile. Gary will also have Pokemon alongside him like Umbreon, Blastoise, and Elekid. Overall, in this region, Gary is just a lot more mature. He's taken his battle into the next level and also combined a tiny bit of research in there. I feel this would be more of a natural path Gary went on if he continued battling. He would have grown a lot more and eventually surpassed Ash again as there wasn't much in it between them. Ash was a bit more reckless in Hoenn and a bit cocky so I could definitely see Gary stepping up and showing him a few things about being a bit more mature. And I think this all leads up to Gary winning the Hoenn League. He wouldn't battle Ash as that was settled back in Johto but after Ash loses to Tyson, Tyson would head to the final where he matches Gary. And Gary ends up winning with his Umbreon taking down the Meowth in boots and with Swampert and Blastoise playing big roles as well. Gary was a natural winner and having him win the Hoenn League would make sense for me. He was a competitor and a powerful trainer and if he kept going he would definitely have the chance to win the league. This doesn't mean he's way stronger than Ash, this just wasn't Ash's year and maybe if Ash faced him in the Hoenn League he would have won. After the Hoenn League, Gary decides to take a little break. He doesn't stop battling altogether, but while Ash is off doing the Battle Frontier, Gary is doing a bit more research. And Gary even roots for Ash in his match against Brandon. He comes to the Battle Pyramid to watch alongside everyone else. And then this naturally ends similar to how our real story ended, with Ash and Gary battling one last time. Gary's Elekid is now fully evolved and Gary wins. And then he tells Ash about the Sinnoh region, while Ash was doing the Battle Frontier, Gary was researching in the Sinnoh region with Professor Rowan and Ash decides to head there following Gary. There are all sorts of tough Pokemon in Sinnoh that you don't even know about yet. Believe me, the world is a big place. Gary is still a really strong trainer in Sinnoh, but he steps back just a little bit. He finds himself becoming way more obsessed with research than battling and battles just don't excite him like they used to. A bit like Volkner is. But when he does battle, he's no joke. He decides that despite winning the Hoenn League, he will still enter the Sinnoh League. As usual, he runs into Ash, helps him out on certain adventures, but they don't battle in this region. Gary watches Ash from afar and starts to really respect how far Ash has come and how much he's matured since Hoenn. He believes Ash could win the Sinnoh League. Gary also encounters another trainer who has these ruthless training methods that Gary really doesn't agree with. 
He tries to tell the guy that he's not treating his Pokemon properly, but he doesn't listen. We all know I'm talking about Paul. Gary challenges Paul to a battle and Paul actually wins. Gary was mixed between underestimating Paul and also lack of interest. He was more trying to understand why Paul was like this. Similar to Maylene, this made Gary step back from battling. His confidence wasn't knocked. He knew that if he battled Paul again, he would win, but he was just questioning why people used Pokemon in such a ruthless manner. He didn't agree with it. Along the journey in Sinnoh, Paul gave up trying to earn the 8 badges and compete in the Sinnoh League. He turned his focus to researching, helping Professor Rowan, and helping Ash beat Team Galactic. So you're probably thinking we're back where we started, Gary has gone back to researching. I felt this was way more of a slow phase out into researching than what we actually got. Gary won the Hoenn League, lived up to his potential, but then he just lost interest after this, and after seeing a new trainer like Paul, and how he treated his Pokemon, he really wasn't looking forward to battles anymore. However, he wasn't finished battling just yet. He left Paul alone because he spoke to Ash and he knew that Paul and Ash were fierce rivals. He knew that in the end, Ash would turn Paul into a respectable trainer, and he did. Gary watched the Sinnoh League quarterfinals play out and he was proud of what Ash had achieved. With Team Galactic defeated, the Sinnoh League over and Gary's research with Rowan finished, it was time to move on. For the first time in Gary's journey, he was lost on what comes next. He headed home to Kanto and he was torn between battling and researching. He really wanted to do both, but battles didn't inspire him anymore. And that's where he met the Elite Four member Agatha in Viridian City. She was standing in for the gym leader as there wasn't any gym leader at this time after Giovanni left. Gary knew who she was and he was a bit starstruck by seeing her. She offered him a battle out of the blue and he was shocked. It turns out she knew exactly who he was, she was friends with Professor Oak and she learned everything from him. She even saw him on TV winning the Hoenn League. They had a battle and Gengar went up against Gary's Blastoise. Agatha won the battle but it was a close one and Agatha told Gary that he performed fantastically. She then offered him the position as the Viridian gym leader. Gary was in complete shock and had no idea what to say. Luckily she gave him a few days to think it over. He headed back to Pallet Town where he ran into Ash. Ash was just about to head to Unova, they spoke for a bit before Ash left, Gary told Ash all about what happened and Ash convinced Gary to take the gym leader role. He said to Gary that he would get exactly what he wanted from this position, he would come up against many strong upcoming trainers and he could really guide the next generation of trainers in the right direction. And this brought back Gary's passion for battling, so he decided to take the offer and become the new Viridian gym leader, which is where he still is to this day. Other than a few trips out here and there to take part in Project Mew missions, he will be at the gym battling. He likes to combine both battling and researching to really fulfil who he is. And the story ends with a mysterious trainer showing up at the gym, challenging Gary. He says to Gary that he should have been competing in the Sinnoh League, and without the Hoenn League champion there, the competition wasn't worth his time. Gary accepts the battle and the man sends out Darkrai. So that is it for this what if scenario. Let me know what you thought, what do you think Gary would have been doing if he carried on battling, and where would his story end? Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, let me know other what if videos you want me to make, and I will see you next time.